रिस्पेक्टेड लॉ सर चेतना मैडम चौरिया साहब डॉक्टर मंजूश्री भंडारी मैडम चेयरमैन फाउंडर चेयरमैन सर महक टीचर्स प्रेजेंट हियर इन दिस ऑन दिस ओकेजन स्टूडेंट्स एंड एवरीबडी अराउंड एट द आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक द इंदा फाउंडेशन टू हैव फाउंड अ सुटेबल फॉर दिस पार्टनरशिप विच वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद डेम टूडे why i thank them and why i feel uh, so privileged today speaking on this occasion is for a very special reason actually uh, you know i was reading about dr rao and dr chetna and i was reading about their seminal work which they have done in this field uh, i think we have dental students here and there is several there are several other staff and uh, faculty members probably from uh, pediatric surgery from general surgery from pediatrics and dental surgery i can assume this is that branch uh, which would interest them more uh, but the way dr rao has made this uh, cleft lip palate and the entire facial deformity including the skull the mission of his life uh, along with uh, chetna ji is something which has ins should inspire all of us it is one idea on which he has led his entire life into and uh, such a humble human being if you can see you cannot uh, the more you grow the more humble you become so when i was you know reading about all his achievements uh, it could reflect that this idea about transforming the health of an individual who is actually normal if you see these children who have these kind of defects cleft lip palate or any facial deformity or skull defects uh, as a resident of general surgery i was exposed Uh, to some of these ailments because uh, during those days pediatric surgery was not a specialty in mbai hospital when i was doing my residency and we used to do cleft lips our consultants never gave us cleft palates they thought we would spoil them so we, but we used to get cleft lips uh, in our final residency and the kind of happiness uh, which we used to see on the parents face after the child used to go home back was immense and i always question you know uh, this smile train project these projects are running all across the country and when i used to see the dedication in the staff which used to come and they used to treat these children i was, I was always amazed what's the mot motivation what's the enthusiasm what's the purpose and then when i you know i grew up into medicine started practicing there is something which i realized that as doctors the purpose of our life would be fulfilled if we empower somebody who is completely powerless and who is you know completely cornered now imagine a child who has these facial deformities his brain is fine there is no problem in his iq there is no problem in his intelligence there is no problem even in you know different other body systems he could have been just like one of us sitting here but just because he has that kind of defect of a cleft lip or a palate and if it goes untreated for a long period of time that child lives with discrimination and problems throughout his life so what dr rao chetna ji is doing is running a mission to bring those kind of people who are actually normal into the mainstream and i can actually imagine there would have been stories which probably they would tell that the children they operated Way back in 1980s, today must have become very successful individuals, and the amount of happiness they would get when they see these children who have grown into bigger successful individuals. Because I think everybody knows that if you leave them at that stage, do not operate upon them, and they grow up with these deformities, it is not only a morbidity in terms of health, but it is also a psychological morbidity which all of us do not understand. a person who is diseased with a cosmetic deformity not only suffers from problems related to respiration or heart but also suffers from a very big psychological morbidity like depression and discrimination both and as a pediatric uh, weight loss surgeon obesity surgeon i see it day in and day out so i understand uh, this mission completely uh, the other thing is the philanthropy behind it because uh, most of us you know we spend days in and day out in doing things which benefit us but they are doing things 
and now Bhandari sir and madam have taken this project as their own in doing this with SAMES for everybody who deserves this in the society. So a very important message here uh, with such respectful dignitaries is to get inspired that any disease can become the mission of your life. The only intention or the intent should be to treat the patient completely and to treat him so well that it changes his life forever. So that's the message. Uh, I once again uh, would welcome from the side of the students, from the staff, from the entire management uh, of SAMES. I would like to welcome everybody from the INGA Foundation and specifically Choradia sir because <laughs> money drives everything and he is selflessly devoting uh, not only you know his time, sometimes time is more important than money but his time, his passion to this particular project. Usually you should not thank your father and mother, but I want to thank Dr. Bhandari and Manju Madam also because it's very large hearted of them to join in mission with Choradia Saab, Chetna Madam and Rao Sir, uh, along with dentistry department and pediatric surgery department, like a mission. And nothing in this entire process is done with the intent of earning money, but the only intent here is to treat that disease so that these individuals who come to us with these deformities come to the mainstream. And that's the message for all of us. Let's try and do that. And thank you very much once again for taking your time.